Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yuzul, the game is Star Trek Online, and welcome once again to the Triple Time Warp for Delta Rising. It is the 11th of September 2014, and we are continuing the Enemies in All the Usual Places mission. This is our introduction to several more of the Delta Quadrant system patrols, and our first stop is the Sakari system. These guys appeared in the Voyager episode Blood Fever, notable mostly for kicking off the Paris Stroke Torres romance arc. And ultimately, these guys were very, very good at camouflage. They needed to trade Gallicite for ways to improve their security and shielding. They're still up for that, but by and large, they prefer to remain hidden because, well, Borg. Anyhow, let's go see how badly things have gone wrong for them in the last 30 years. Ultim oh, that's a pretty title, isn't it? There's a price somewhere in the system. What do you mean, somewhere in the system? We can hear a gnat squeak three planets away, and you're telling me you can't find a distress call? Fine, let's start scanning. Narrow the area. Okay, that helps. Another little squirt of impulse. Dump again. Narrows the scanning area. I just love scanning for distress signals. But we have a general location and the stranded freighter that's stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Hi guys, what can we do for you? Oh, it's a... Uh, if we let them go, it'll be a blow for the Delta Quadrant. It really will. Can you get a read on them? The crew's more sorry. Transport them. Do it. The car is all we have left. Ha 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 Nice touch. We have room for your cargo. Very well. Let's be polite about this. How close do we have to get? That's a really small freighter. Yeah, I suppose we have got room. Haven't we beam them up? And... The usual mandatory two seconds to spare. Excellent. Well done. Confine them to the cargo bay. They do not get out and they certainly do not feed anybody and what is that? A Prelor APU battleship. Chromodynamic panels. What is the meaning of this? Uh huh. What are these modules to you? They are fixing me. Okay. Reproduction prop Yes. Oh dear. I need to Well this is just dandy, isn't it? I... Okay, they're already having a civil war. Wow, this didn't take very long. This is getting interesting. Introduce yourselves. We are the APUs of the Kravik race. You will not give... <laughs> to the APUs of the Prelois. Mute comms. Vodacon. These two are still prone fighting a war. <laughs> they did create a wave. But they actually destroyed the prototype pack. Or... Oh dear, so because they knew it was possible, that gave them the impetus to manage it. Bring them back. Is that a threat? So we have a decision to make. Uh huh. I like to depend on your orders. So we can give them back to the manufacturers. We can give them to the Prelor, who had no intention of paying for them. Destroy the cause, which will likely have both sides aiming at us. Or we can do the self thing. Well, that's not the Starfleet thing to do. Well, we won't keep the cause. Destroy the cause. That's going to piss off the Talaxians as well. Excellent. Fine, they have called in quite a lot of opposition. Right, let's see what the APUs can do. Okay, looks like both sides have popped reverse shield polarity. Both sides are using quantum torpedoes. Oh, wow. A dampening field. That's a captain... Scattering field. Oh, that's a captain power that we don't normally see. And they're slugging it out with what looks like combat logs. Tetrion weapons on both sides. A mirror match, eh? Well, let's just even things up a little. Grab well. Have it, guys. Get get to know each other. No, really, I insist. And that was a gravimetric rift from the torpedoes. You know what? Have some tricobalt cluster torps. That should even things up a little. Uh, 
Okay, and this should hopefully... I don't like the sound of that. Really? Fine, let's finish you up. Fire my own scattering field. A lot of science-based races in the Delta Quadrant, it seems. Okay, so first battleship's gone boom. That's actually quite weakened version, 96,000 health. Eh, not too shabby. Have a sub nuke. And while you're busy figuring that out, we'll wipe out. Now, the frigates. They have got 42,000 health each. Cannon rapid fire. What else have we got? Okay, yep, they've inherited the connect. Another crash. ST table GUID 38632 is not unique. And this is ticket ID 3485 And okay, we don't know what happened in the meantime, but we now have two waves of frigates to deal with. So we need to defeat all waves. We need to defeat the second Kravik and Prelor waves. Fine, well, let's start with the Prelor then. Grab well out. Fight well engaged. And yep, a lot of cannon rapid fire. That's kind of expected. Hmm. Did one of them just teleport somehow? Whoa! SC table GUID 432 is not you. That happened almost immediately. Okay, I've never seen it happen that fast before. Ticket ID is 34852076. Engaging APU frigates in ultimatum. Be a good crash test triple, ladies and gentlemen. Always submit your cryptic error handler reports. Take three. Now where are we? So, we wiped up the second Prelor wave despite being crashed. Guys, I'm proud of you. Okay, so. Prelor AP battleship. High yield one, reverse shield polarity. High yield torpedo cooldown. Okay, is that... And then scatter field. Was that cooldown just a... Uh, delay on the part of the AI, or is that something internal? Okay, the Kravik are quite happily sold out. Cannon rapid fire on the battleship, and also on the frigates. Not surprised, they're slugging it out something chronic. Both sides are. In fact, the frigates are coming to the end of it. Looks like the battleship is the final Prelor wave. There we go, it's defeated one of the frigates for us. Let's see if it slugs down on the second and the third. Okay, what else are we doing? Torpedo high yield, quantum torpedoes on both sides. Wait a minute. Did that just fire at an 180 degree angle? 90 degrees off the bow? Yes, I rather think it did. Have these guys got an omnidirectional torpedo launcher? Or are they slotting 180 degree torps fore and aft? Let's just get some attention. Gravity well, you're not going anywhere, guys. Also just minimise chat, because that restarted as well. Yep, there we go. Yoink, and straight out the other side. Okay, let's get the Kralor's attention with a bit of luck. The bang will take out the Kravik as well. Or maybe not. Okay, so that's the Kralor gone. Move on to the Kravik. One and two, which means we'll have a Kravik battleship about to warp him. Fine by me. Right. We have the final Kravik wave. Bingo, it's an APU battleship. Okay, let's see what you have got. I suspect it's not going to be very much. Minimal damage sustained. It's only a flesh wound. That's more like it. 
Your arms come off. Reevaluating. Yeah. I believe that is an android expression for underwear change imminent. Anyhow, no more hostile units on the sensors, so we can debrief. Now then, I wouldn't want to see... They'd probably just kill each other in a pointless stalemate and leave something for us to angst over. And the... We'll depart our ship at the earliest opportunity. The airlock's on deck 12, guys. Just a hint. Leave the system. Actually, no. Cancel, 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 cancel. What's that loot? Impulse engines. Okay, now we can leave the system. Interesting little mission there, where you actually have a kind of a moral choice to make, but there's no real callback on it, is there? Anyhow, that's the Sakari system done, albeit with a couple of crashes. So, where else do we need to go? The Trachea system. Trachea, Trachea, Trachea. Do, 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 do. Down, 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 down we go. Okay. Come around onto target. Maximum warp and hit the slipstream. And while we're on the way there, I've got a couple more Delta Rising boxes to pop. So, Thorn Infused Quantum Mine Launcher. That's not going to replace my Tricobalt Tube. And a Thorn Infused Polaron Turret. So, we're starting to get projectile and energy weapons with Tier 1 of the Alliance. Doobie doobie doo. And for those of you who are wondering, as things stand, it does not appear as though the mark boxes from the Crystalline Cataclysm are retroactively giving Delta marks. So that's a bit of a shame, but not really a massive surprise. Hope is the first step. So, the Trachea system. Hero... Oh, uh, no. Herogen. Why did it have to be Herogen? Long distance... Ah! That's the star base from the trailer. It is a Herogen Comoray. We've been using the array in the genome and system, having another option in case it's adoptive. Scan the F-strips. I wonder if there are Herogen out there. Okay. Stay alert. We'll send an away team, but I expect the owners could show up at any moment. Of course they're going to show up. It would be a very boring mission if they didn't. So, gentle squirt of the impulse just to bring us in. And another one. Yep, this is a the Comoray we saw in the mission. So, beam in the away team. Definitely a Herogen Comoray. Yeah, we'd guessed that bit. Of course. <sighs> Let's be recent about this. We didn't know this was Herogen territory. We just wanted to contact. And feel, okay, fine. Okay, shields up. A hunter escort. Really? Is that all you've got? And the sub nuke. Fine. Clear it out. That's countered his vile matrix as well, which is kind of handy. Now let's do our own mucking about. So, two waves of Herosian attackers to start with. Let's see. I have some Tricobalts. They're high in fibre. When they launch properly. Grr. Okay, there's that second Hunter Escort coming in. And yoink. Come on, die. Thank you. Here comes the next one. You're going nowhere, mate. Target his shields. And that should do that. Boom. The Herodians are pulling back, but they're calling reinforcements. Terrific. Well, on the one hand, I suppose it's a compliment that we're considered decent prey, but there's Herodian on the station. Okay. Right, so basically it's just, we're going to do it, but 
it's going to be a case of one security detail coming up. Being down security team. Beck, have two. Have the Makos. And more reinforcements inbound. Fine. So we have another three waves to eliminate. Nice variation on the usual five wave mission. Okay, pop a gravity well. Fire at will. And go. And the cluster torpedo worked. Yay, 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 yay. We're going to have some fun here. Come on, arm up. Thank you. Didn't quite catch them all, but no matter, that's pretty satisfactory. Very satisfactory, in fact. Really? Round, we, round and round we go where it stops, nobody knows. Probably in about seven seconds with the Tricobalt Torpedo. Comes off its recharge cycle. Come on, round and round, round and round. There we go. Drop his shields pronto. And scan him up. Come on, come on. Four, three, two, one... Wow, 58,000 crit. Oh, more Herogen coming. Terrific. Um, give me a moment. I'm actually going to break away from this fight just for a second, if that Apex battleship will let me. There we go. Right, so something we needed to check. Yes, yes, yes. Prey. Can you put together more than two syllables? Now then, duty officer assignments. We need to swap this around. Roster. Active space. Pull the technicians off the job and add on all my available projectile weapons officers. Specialization. Do, 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 do. Projectile weapons officer. What do we got? 10 of 10. And. Panhoff. Okay, so that should be a solid chance to improve torpedo recharge time. Let's see what happens. Where are you? There you are. Come here. Now then, do something that would normally be exceptionally stupid, but open with the Tricobal Torpedo. What have we got? Yes, it does work with the duty officers. We got one proc there. Saved us five seconds. Really, jam sensors. Like that's going to make a difference. Have a gravity well. Three and four. Boom, I'm liking this torpedo. Okay, tractor repulse is engaged. Bit of overkill because it's only hitting the apex. I was hoping to catch the holographic frigates as well, but no matter. Mind you, if you want to play with hollow ships, so can I. Pretty standard erosion stuff at this stage. Tetrion Cascade just to get rid of them in a hurry. And then, boom again. Right, scan the Vertron particles while we're waiting for the red alert to... SC table GUID 5220 is not unique. 34852223. Okay, so luckily we're getting in fast enough that it's not losing the mission progress. They've completed the scans and the array is set up and awaiting me requesting beam out. And it actually mentions the officer by name. We'll beam you back now. Yeah, I'm sure they could retrieve them. Honestly, that is an undignified level of panic for a senior officer aboard ship. Okay, it's not a click station, but we have Admiral Quinn. Excellent. We are. We're gathering information. Actually, we're more just hijacking it. Okay, beginning transmission now, although we did it last week. Excellent, so then we lost the connection. Fine. That's all right. I, um... We blew up the last dozen Hirogen that objected. Anyhow, leave the system.
And we have an extra mission appeared. Aid Kobali Captain. I don't remember seeing that before, but it may have just been dropping off the bottom of the objective window. So we need our Kobali Captain. Where's this distress call? This could be a fun one to find. Okay. Answer distress call. Now we need to actually find the Kabali, don't we? Ah, distress call. There we go. This is the Kabali vessel Kavena. Home world and save supplies cut. We're on our way. Stay strong. Patrol the Nasorda system. All oh, right, did this pop in at random when we finished up the last couple of missions? Fine, off we go. A plot twist, ladies and gentlemen. On a patrol mission, I might add. Cryptic might actually be learning from the original trouble with the five waves and done missions that were so predominant in the early game. Anyhow, engage the slipstream. Over shot slightly. And here we are at the Nasordin system. They're known throughout the world for their consumer technology. They've begun developing replicators and hollow emitters. And they're disputing with the Bomar sovereignty. Right, let's see what's gone wrong. Someone presumably didn't like the terms of the warranty. Right, aftermath. It looks like we're too late, right. Polar on weapon signatures. Vodacon from Kabali ship. Oh, that needs to be done. Five separate distress calls. Also, we need a captain. Fine. What happened here? The Vardwa, of course. Fine. Okay, looks like we're going to be assisting survivors and protecting from scavengers. Okay. Divert power from shields to transporters. Get them off. Bingo. Mass transport worked. Wow, okay. Proper Vardware. And they're targeting the... Oh, no, no. They're not. Move, 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 move. Right. An interdictor and an assault missile. Let's see what these guys have got. Okay, sub-nuke from the interdictor. Fine, that kind of fits with the title. And your assault vessel. What? Whoa, 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 what is this? Constriction, eh? That's coming from the... In no, it's not. It's coming from the constriction anchor. Fine, we'll just destroy that. Oh, boy. Bad shields. Fine, so those need... Those anchors need to be destroyed as a matter of priority. Did we just use a cluster torpedo to destroy a normal torpedo? Ah, who cares. 
Okay, he's breaking high. How much health has he got anyway? 42,000. So that's basically their frigate analogue. Boom. Right, now let's see what this interdictor has got. Quantum torpedoes. Emergency dampers. And the grammetric rifts from us. Let's see. 110,000 health. Pretty much standard for a Delta Rising NPC cruiser at normal. Let's see what else you can do. 180 degree cannons. Come on. Let's have a look at your other toys. Perhaps we get round on your frontal arc, but you're not doing a very good job of manoeuvring out of this. What is that? All right, constriction anchor, fine. 16, 17,000 health. And, okay, just about there. Give it all four barrels on the disruptors and boom. Actually, give me the combat log for a second. I want to get close enough to that. No, we didn't get close enough to get hit by the explosion. I want to see what kind of damage type that was doing. I realise it's probably just kinetic, but let's go check the other nav epsilons. Oh wow, we have to defend against further attacks after that as well. Fine, let's go talk to these people. Okay, next Kabali cruiser. Life support is failing. Okay, we can re remotely repair everything. Get on with it. Repair life support first. And repair the artificial gravity. I have to wonder if that's career specific, but or even ship specific. Ah, uh, we have incoming an interstellar and a scout vessel. Okay, let's see. Whoa, that was high yield three, and we have another constrictor beam hitting by the looks of it. Yeah. And it's le they've left their green goo behind. Fine. Excuse me, you are not running away from my cluster torpedo. Fast little sword, he's still moving under the tractor even with high auxiliary. Not that it saved him. Brace, 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 brace. Okay, that's dealt with the construction actor. Apparently they have a limited lifespan as well. That despawned rather than being destroyed. And another interdictor cruiser, so we'll just quickly patch up. And then we will see what passes for fury among their kind. So far, a lot of snares and a lot of polon damage. Okay, what else have you got, boyo? Let's see it. Firepower's much weaker on the aft side, it has to be said. Oh, did he did he just run into one of my old tricobalt mines? Ha 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 ha. That's amusing in its way. I'm wondering if this blue explosion is the trajector warp core that we're going to be getting with the Delta Alliance set up. Anyhow, on to the next option. Obviously, death explosions are never something you want to see from your own starship, but hey, blue would be a nice change on the usual fiery orange. Or the green implosion if you're a Romulan. Mind you, we've got Romulan trajector cores as well, so perhaps not. Anyhow, up on the next one. Oh, it's up there. Right, dump from impulse. Chart levels are off the core there. Fine, okay. Divert power, grab all the can. We did that before. Use the cargo transporters as well. Let's see what happens. Use cargo transporters. We got everyone out in half time. Use the crew transporters as well. We still have several goes aboard. Wait a minute, no, we didn't. We got everyone. So that's a non separate in the plot. Okay, assault vessel and interdictor cruiser.
Whoa, 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 what was that? Did I just get caught in my own tricobalt beam? Shields up, all hands brace, dampening sphere, scatter field, everything. Reinforce the shields as well. Oh, great, we have more incoming. Terrific. Wait a minute, one, two, no, we, no, we don't. That's the same sort of vessel. Break away. You don't get much warning on that autocannon ability. Fine. We'll just finish you off first and then get on with it. Okay. Nice little high energy turn from him there. Doesn't matter, we can break high and... Oh boy. And, okay, boom, so that's that one finished off, and they're still engaging the interdictor with the Photonic Fleet. So we'll just head back and, oh uh, wait, no, he's finished off the holograms. Pity. Gentle squirt of impulse. Hiya, we're back. And you're dead. Boom. Boom. There's always a boom. Okay, so a little non sequitur there to use the cargo transporters, but we did get everyone off. Right, so. Let's go. On to Nav Delta. Maybe Nav Epsilon, I'm not sure which. Come on, where are you? Aha, dead ahead. So, dump from Impulse. Damage reactor, no way to get the hood. Okay, beam it. Use the cargo transporters. Use crew transporters this time. And then use the cargo transporters. We still left several groups on board. Okay, so that's a version. Okay, we have an assault cruiser this time. Let's see what you've got. Cannon rapid fire for starters. Try cobalt device. We'll just use tractor repulses to deal with that, like so. And what else are you pulling? Pattern barrage again. Come on, what have you got? What have you got? It's worth a. Uh, oh boy, why did I say that? Try cobalt mines. Okay. Right, so that's a nasty little ability. Some of them are dumping tricobalt mines around. We need to stay a bit more awake on that one. Fire at will, going to be very handy. So let's do it. Aha! Yeah, that's an odd little mine spread he's just used. Also, subvert targeting array? I think that's one of mine. Fine. Back to the assault vessel. Scan it up. Tractor it. Or just gravity well for giggles. Collapse the shields. And boom. Okay, so that was Nav Epsilon dealt with. Route round onto Nav Delta and get the last one. Interesting that using the cargo transporters didn't quite get us everybody that time. Oh well. Coming down on to the next imminent core breach with the Kabali. Do none of these guys have ejection mechanisms? Okay, they did destroy the Telemeric. Okay. Righty ho. So we can pick your techno babble, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, as well as the Mag Seal the Fracture, that should get you back up and working. So, Mag Seal the Fracture. And then dampen the infuser. And we have a heavy artillery vessel. Okay, I don't like the sound of this. Whoa. What did you do? Okay, an assault vessel coming out of under space. That's a nice touch. We'll deal with that first, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on, you silly little Vardra. Just die so I can have a look at your big brother without getting shot up too much. Okay, so that's that dealt with. Vardra Heavy Assault Vessel. Okay, the usual scatter volley from the Polaron Cannon. Okay, what else have they got? Alright, let's get in front of him and pin him in place. Okay, come on! Rapid fire one on the cannons. What else have you got, mate? Not a lot, it has to be said. Come on, show me something. Okay, so cannon rapid fire again. Let's get on your nose, which is normally where I'd never want to be. A tri cobalt device. Anything else, guys? Come on. You must have something more interesting. Tricobot cluster torpedo? Heavy tricobot? Why do I open my mouth? Oh great, it detonated. Tractor repulsors. And then we'll just blitz close enough for the mines to arm. There we go. That's dealt with those. Oh wow, it's targeting the... The tractor pulse has just targeted the cannon points. Interesting. Never seen that, that happen before. Right, round we come again. Another of these spread volleys. There's no ability attached to those that I can see, but... It's still interesting. Yoink, heal up. Let's see what he's got on his aft tubes, if anything. Come on, mate. Let's see what you got. Okay, so that must be a summoning pulse that he uses to call in the Vardwa assault vessel every so often. And round we come again. Okay, so plus Tricobot cluster torpedo, various cannon pulses, the usual scaffolding. I think we've seen everything this guy has to offer, so let's just finish him quickly. Okay, so a rescue ship has arrived in system and we can transport the survivors directly to them. That's handy. It is, of course, immediately going to get attacked, but well, let's do it anyway. I thought we were the rescue ship anyway. There we go. Um, Rescue ship. Rescue ship. Rescue ship cunningly disguised as an asteroid. A most ingenious ruse. Hopefully we're not just beaming these guys into space. Okay, nope. Okay, let Neelix know how much help you've been... 
the Traggle Nectar. Okay, what? Fair enough. And it appears that there were no further attacks to defend against. The rescue ship from the Kabali has taken the injured and rescue crew aboard. We've cleared the system. Excellent. Depart system. All right. Interesting that that final objective didn't materialise anything, but fair enough. We had a fair old slog of combat by that point, and a good look at the Vardwa in space. So, report to Delta Quadrant Command. A big impact here, and for that we get cat food. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Yusril, and that has been the Triple Time Warp for the 11th of September. Until next time, farewell. Farewell.